Yabbies can prove to be difficult to hatch and grow because they like to eat each other. Ian Campbell's with me here. Ian, how are you, mate? Oh, I'm fantastic and improving. <laughs> mate, you are the godfather of aquaponics and you've got a great little yabby hatchery idea here that keeps the young yabbies alive, makes them easy to find and have, creates the perfect environment for the yabbies. Take us through it, mate. <laughs> Back in the day, I used to have all the baby yabbies getting eaten and I was just a little bit peed off that me baby yabbies were getting eaten. So what I did is I'd put a, uh, one that was already buried up. So buried means just it's got uh, the yabbies on it, throw it in there. So you've got the water coming in here. So it's got little babies on its belly yeah. and you put it in there. Yeah, you wouldn't put two in there. They could fight and kill each other. But you just get one that's already got eggs on it and you put it in there. And then you keep on checking it and you keep on checking it. And when they start to drop their baby yabbies to harvest it easily, um, you just put that pipe down there, you put that pipe down there, you put that pipe down there. And where does that go, mate? All the baby yabbies will come out here, down here. They go on a bit of a slippery dip, and they'll come down the pipe, and then they'll come over here to where we can catch them and harvest them. So you've got a little mesh grate there that's just off the top of a plastic water tank. That's it. And, and that the... collects the baby yabbies that have come down this pipe out of your collection system. Yep. And then where does that water go, mate? Uh, then it's pumped back up again and comes back out into the tank. So it's a total recirculating system using the same water and you just top the water up every now and then because you do lose a bit of water for transpiration and evaporation. And where, how do you feed them mate? How often do you feed them and what do you feed oh, them? Oh, I feed them dog food. Just you know the dry dog food because it's everyone's got dry dog food somewhere and I just put one in there just put one in there and just let it go for you know oh, uh, yeah let it go and if it eats it so it eats it and it might be one a week, it could be uh, one a day, it just depends on how big your yabby is. So yeah, that's that's it, that's the... And what pump drives this mate, what size pump? Oh, I just use a little one, I just use a 1500 litre one, because you've got to... If you did it nice and level, you wouldn't need a big pump, because it's the head height that you've got to get to up there. So um, you just got to make, if you're going to do it just one level, just a thousand litre pump and just depends on how many of these you got. So yeah, you could go up to a 16,000 litre pump or you could go down as low as a 500 litre pump. So Ian, this is a no mess, no fuss, simple system. And usually when people know what they're talking about, they do do things in a simple manner. You've got these kits for sale, mate, and people can get onto you in the link in the description and find out how to grow their own yabbies at home because they're a fantastic source of food, a lot of fun, and an easy freshwater species to grow. I like that word, fun. Yeah, it's really important, <laughs> isn't it? Especially with the kids. When I was growing up, I loved catching yabbies, so I always wanted to make sure my dams were stocked up to the max. And like you said, yeah, all you need, I'm sure there's people that have got lots of these containers, and we do sell just all the little fittings to put it together in a diagram. So get on to Ian, get growing yabbies, have a lot of fun, get the kids involved, get some great protein, almost for free, just a bit of dog food. Ian, thanks very much, mate. No, thank you, appreciate it.